All right, hello everyone. We are talking about the root chakra, the root chakra series. So we've gotten to the essential oil, okay? So what we want to look at here are the essential oils that are for the root chakra. So you want something that's earthy because the element of the root chakra is earth. So frankincense, myrrh, and sandalwood is the top one, and patchouli. Those four would be the top one. If there's another earthy one that you like, a scent that you like, then definitely use that. There's one that they uh, have here, um, vetiver. I hope I'm saying it right. Okay, that one is good to mix with lemon, okay, and patchouli. That's a nice mix to help with uh, any issues of the root chakra. And if you watch the series already, you know already, okay? Um, uh, juniper is supposed to be good, angelica root, uh, black pepper, um, black sprouts, um, spice, um, cypress, and of course, frankincense and myrrh, and um, Atlantis cider wood is one that's listed. Okay, I like frankincense, I like myrrh, I like um, sandalwood and patchouli. Patchouli, you have to use it lightly I, for me personally, but um, you know, everyone is different. So you can use these essential oils to get you grounded, especially if you feel like you, you know, you can't think clearly. It's really grounding earthy scent okay uh, you can use it by di diluting it with um, a base oil when they say base oil it's any oil that's good on the skin so some people they like to use sunflower seed oil almond oil is one I like almond oil because it's good for the skin that would be one of the top one is almond oil rubbing on the skin Okay, coconut oil is another top one. Okay, you can also mix, mix it in shea butter. Okay, that's super excellent. And cocoa butter. Those are the four top ones. See, then you have olive oil and you have sunflower seed oil. And there are other oils that you can look at. Okay, and you can put it in your own little um, bottle or get a Baker bottle and make your own oils okay and when it comes to it you would have to get like a an ice pop type of um, the stick and mix it in the shea butter or the cocoa butter but when you make your own mixture it's it smells so good you know and especially in the summertime if you have it with a little citrus in there, like a lemon or a lime, orange. It helps to keep the bugs away a little bit, right? <laughs> so that's a good one. But having the essential oils as a diffuser is a really great start to uh, have the room closed. If you have Himalaya salt lamp, those work for, uh, depends on how small it is, for five, um, five feet, okay? I want to, I have my Himalaya salt lamp right there, but you can look it up yourself and see it. And it works within a five feet radius in the room to clear the air of dust and so on and make the air uh, very clean to breathe. And then when you have the essential oil uh, diffuser going, it's just an additional ad additional help. Okay, so, so the, this one is for grounding. Now, since I mentioned the Himalaya salt lamp for cleaning the air, I'd wanna say that regardless if it's summer or winter, peppermint is always good for the, the uh, bronchial, for, the, for breathing, okay? And so is, um, uh, I'm trying to think of eucalyptus. Okay, so those two together is really good because the fix is uh, use main uh, eucalyptus right so it's good for for the the lungs for breathing okay um all year i think peppermint if you can have a peppermint and just kind of sniff uh that would be so good every now and then i like to take three separate inhales and you know exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale very slow 
and that keeps the nostrils uh, clear and helps for me works from getting sick and and if I stop doing it for two weeks I'm like what you know so I notice it it's not like just me saying oh, okay whatever no it really does work if you have a regular practice to um, help you your nasal press the passage that's good but going back for the root chakra if you can find an earth a musky earth scent and even if earth musky scent is not your thing find one that is appealing to you okay now the next video i'm going to be filming separately is about stones now in the yoga text there's no stones associated with any chakras or anything like that that's more new age okay but um i'll do a stone video but it won't have anything to do with the with the chakras but i'll mention that it's associated with the root chakra but but it really has nothing to do with it the frequency of that stone will will match whatever within you is resonating with that frequency so that's why i want to, I, I think i want to tap on stones but i don't want to put it as part of the chakras teaching right so whenever it comes to crystals it's just that frequency of that stone that will resonate with where where you are right now and will either help you to become more powerful in that uh, emotional area okay life experience and the frequency of that stone is going to empower you to maybe protect your energy so when when they have these root chakra stones they are they they they're working on on that earth element okay um that that science of the um minerals okay and connecting to that frequency that structure of it so the stones are supposed to be associated with protection and strength or um yeah it's pretty much protection and strength is what those stones represent and you want to have that strong foundation at your root chakra so that's why they will associate those stones so i hope this video helps you um, as far as the essential oils um, sandalwood is such a beautiful scent in ancient egypt and other in societies before egypt and after they would use that to uh, have people kind of walk through the door and even before they get to the door to cleanse them with um, sandalwood so sandalwood is very good and especially in the in the fall season and winter time it's good to burn frankincense myrrh and sandalwood because that's when the earth is being re reborn and and the um the spiritual energy is very much um uh, more open so the earth is more quiet and it's very good to burn sandalwood myrrh frankincense um, and pine at this time too okay and um yeah that's it so thank you guys so much it's a great uh, spiritual cleansing of the body energy wise your own energy to keep it in a harmonious um, high frequency balance and also to rid any low frequency low vibration from other people because if you work around people you know there are always different emotions going with problems and and attachments and energy so you want to keep yourself clear so thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and don't forget to um, subscribe click like leave a comment and um yeah, I would like to be able to go live on this channel. So it's a process. So it's taking its time and I'm here for that flow. So thank you.